Hey everybody, welcome back to 164 land. We've unboxed the showroom floor series three, as well as that new set, the Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, the Gran Turismo Race to the Clouds series one. So now we're just gonna do a little in-depth look. I've cracked them all open. They're all right down here below. You can't see them. And um, we're just gonna go through them. So here's the art. We'll start with showroom floor series three. Now, the cool thing about this series is that on the back of each card, you get a window sticker for each individual car. So this is for this is for the, the Bronco. This is the two-door Bronco. So we'll start with this, but we're not going to show you the window sticker. So, so first up here, you have the 2023 Ford Bronco. This is the two-door here. It, uh, it's a heritage edition, so you get a couple things. You get the white grill. It says Bronco. I'm sorry. It says Ford in red you got the white top you got the white lipped wheels there and then the uh the paint too is uh i want to say it's a throwback paint as well it's um what color is this yellowstone metallic so it's pretty nice nice little pastel uh opened up nice looking car here the only thing that i think would be better is the driver's mirrors kind of tilted down a little so it's a little wonky but otherwise it looks pretty good it's got these chunky tires it's got the the uh, side rails there the side steps and um the hard top right which is plastic i don't think it oh it does pop off all right so it comes off it's got the little clips there oh, let's get you in focus there so a nice nice looking truck here now of course i think if uh if it was a soft top, it would have a roll bar, right? It's not just gonna be open like that. So we'll leave it as a hard top. All right, so next up is another Bronco Heritage Edition. This is actually the Bronco Sport in Robin's Egg Blue. And this one has the white steelies. Now it's supposed to have a white grill because it says Bronco in red. If you can see that, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, so it says Bronco in red there, but it's supposed to have a white grill as well, which is this one's missing out on. So no big deal. It's got the white top, and I think, because this is actually a really nice casting. It's got appropriately widthed tires, even though they're probably still too wide, but they're not the real chunkers for the uh, previous Bronco. And I think the whole roof here is plastic because it's got a lot of nice detail. It's got the sunroof. It's got the roof rails, and uh, but you can't really tell. So this is a nice casting here. All right, next up we have 2023 Gladiator in this really bright yellow. Almost blends in with the background there. This one has the removable bed cover, which honestly is just going to pop off anyway. So you're going to want to, you're just going to want to take it off and uh, and be done with it there. Excuse me. So it's nice. Now this one, because it's the hard top, it has the plastic roof here, and there's a little discrepancy in. Uh, the body color and the roof color but honestly it's really tough to tell so nice got those five spoke wheels good details again really nice casting i think it would be a little better because it looks a little narrow but i i think i think it's an optical illusion the reason it looks so narrow is because the tires are so wide because it really in real the one-to-one -one, um gladiators are long and they're kind of narrow so all right next up keep dropping my paper here is uh the 2020 was this the 2022 ram 2500 we got the laramie 4x4 i think this is called flame red uh it's nice looking casting this was previously released in a showroom floor series in uh the darker the burgundy i can't remember the uh octane red maybe so it's nice it's got that nice chrome grill mirrors look good it's got the cab lights there it's got the roof um roof rails it's got the side steps Try to keep it in the uh, in the frame here. Chrome wheels. The bed's a little a little wonky, but not not noticeably wonky. It's got the trailer hitch in the back. So this is a nice uh, this is a nice casting. I like this one. Okay, next up, the 2023 Tahoe. This is the RST, so it's the performance version. I can't remember the name of this color, and I'm not going to get up to get the uh, window sticker, but it is nice. It's like a maybe it's sage silver. Or sage something but nice uh, nice casting it's got a lot of, it's got some heft to it the RST is the performance version so 
although it doesn't have anything besides the badging and it says rst right here it's got a little a uh, little scuff on the back bumper over spray from below the um it's supposed to have the twin tailpipes but all the tahoe castings have the same uh the same exhaust on it there so no side side rails which is great it does have this painted lower portion there nice front grille looks good so now the window stickers are almost accurate i think the one for this said it had a sunroof which it clearly doesn't have a sunroof so that's fine all right and then last up is the 2023 the uh the Ford Must, I'm sorry, 2022 Ford Mustang Mach E in Grabber Blue. So this is the new casting here, and uh, it's really nice. Wheel, wheels have great detail, good good detail in the in the tail lights there. This one actually has, you can kind of see it right there. There's a thumbprint or a fingerprint in the paint because I tried rubbing it off, and it, well, it's there to stay. So whoever put this together left their mark. Uh, the tires are a little too wide for me. Those are those big chunky tires there. But uh, but otherwise it's it's a nice it's a nice looking casting. All right, so I'm really happy with this. This is going to be all over. It's going to be a police car. It's going to be a taxi probably. It's going to be uh, it's going to make its way throughout the entire uh, green light database. So once again, showroom floor series three. Check out the unboxing I did as well, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.